Hello friends, today I will teach how to draw the circle in isometric view. So most of the times there is going to be a circular portion, semicircular portion and how to draw that part in isometric view that I will explain in detail. Especially in isometric view, so we will be having three planes and those three planes will be what? Height and length, a plane having height and length, plane having width and height and the horizontal plane. So these two are going to be vertical planes and horizontal plane. So their only length and width will be there. So sometimes circle may be in the front view. So if we consider this is the frontal direction. If circle is there in the front view, then we have to draw in this plane. If circle is there in the top view, then it should be drawn in the horizontal plane. And if it is in the side view, then in this vertical plane, we have to draw. Then how to draw? Uh, by using the compass that I will explain. And especially the name of this method is what? Four center method. Circle will be ellipse in isometric view. That square, it looks like rhombus. Rectangle looks like uh, parallelogram. So like that circle will be ellipse. Then for the circle, the given information will be generally what? Either diameter of the circle or radius of the circle. So if radius of the circle is given, then with that given radius, how to draw the circle that I'll teach. So first we have to mark the center of a circle. For example, if I mark, let us say that First, we will draw the circle in front view. Circle in front view means vertical plane having length and height as a dimensions. So there, how to draw it? And in this vertical plane, let's say, so it is going to be height. Only these two things will be used over here. So randomly, I am taking any vertical line. I wish to draw this in this plane. So, say, if this is the center of a circle and we know some fixed radius, so let it be 20, 30, anything. So, I will put the compass at the center and I will take the radius, the given radius. If suppose it is 30 mm, then first thing what you have to do, with this 30 mm, cut the arc from the center. This line is parallel to length and this line is parallel to height. So on these two lines, cut four arcs. How to cut? Uh, one at this place, other will be at this place. Then third will be over here and fourth will be over here. So with this, what I'll be having? So with the help of these four cuts, I'll mark the rhombus. Draw the vertical line through this point. Draw the vertical line parallel to height. Similarly, line parallel to length. Line parallel to length. I'll get the rhombus. So it is the perfect rhombus. So its sides are going to be the diameter of the circle and now so this rhombus will be having four corners and at these four corners here 120 degree angle here 120 degree 60 60 and wherever 120 degree angle is there there what you have to do give the number give the number to this as 1 and here it is at 2 means these are going to be two centers for us these are going to be two centers for us then after that what you have to do with these two centers 1 and 2 with these two centers, 192, we have to mark. Means from this center one, join the midpoint of opposite sides. Now, 
on this rhombus it is the opposite side so join this midpoint similarly from this two center join the midpoint of its opposite side like this then again from this one from this one one more opposite side is there midpoint of opposite side similarly here also we have to mark from two midpoint of its opposite side like this so what will happen with this so we'll get two more centers and which are these two centers so intersection of this line joining midpoints from 1 and 2 it is going to be 3 and it is going to be 4 so these are the four centers will be having With the help of these four centers and the compass we can draw the proper ellipse then how we can draw it observe it very carefully put the compass at one increase its radius up to the midpoint of opposite side and just check whether it is matching that other midpoint also so definitely it is matching and now so this quarter circular portion with the help of compass we can draw like this So it will be in this way. Then shift the center from 1 to 2 with the same radius. With the same radius. We have to draw the quarter circle on this side. And again, so it must match with these two midpoints. Yes, it's matching. If it is perfect one, there will not be any difficulty in drawing it. So this is the quarter circular portion on this side. Then center 1, center 2. In the beginning only you have to write. Now you can make use of center 3. And for the center 3 we have to take this radius. So initially check it whether it is matching or not. So there may be some little bit shifting of the center. If at all it requires you can make it properly at 3 you have to put this compass now you can draw this quarter circular portion from 3 and from 4 again we have to check it whether it is or there may be little bit shifting of the centers it's perfect we have to complete the ellipse in this way and see that with the help of compass we have not drawn with some curve with the help of compass only we have drawn this ellipse and the name of this method is what four center method its reason is that we are using this one two three four centers but in actual drawing there is no need to give these names so directly you can draw fastly you can have these four centers and make use of the compass and then draw it so it is about what care we we have to take while drawing this so this circle is in the front view always which lines will be using for drawing the rhombus vertical means height parallel to height and parallel to length parallel to length so like that if we need to draw the circle in the top view circle in the top view then in the top view which two dimensions are visible length and width then for that what you have to do you have to consider directly i'll mark the center and i'll draw whatever the size of this isometric box is there so that size itself i'll take so let's say instead of that again in vertical also uh, we'll mark the center first wherever we have to draw that circle mark the center with this then now in this case line will be parallel to length and second line will be what it will be parallel to width means i'll make use of this here it is going to be a center 
and on this center what I'll do take the compass and I have to draw the circle with some particular radius so let, let it be anything this much only correct but for getting the perfect rhombus the proper procedure is what cut this arc on all these two lines horizontal line line parallel to length and parallel to width so again on this line and on this line so through these points draw the parallel lines to length so this is parallel to length this is also parallel to length and through that intersecting point line parallel to width line parallel to width many times students make the mistake that when they have, they have to draw the circle in horizontal plane like this so they use vertical lines means they draw the hole vertically which is absolutely wrong so with the help of this now the four centers so first i'll get two centers this is one it is two it is two and for getting third center and fourth center what we have to do we have to make use of these two so we'll use these two centers from one from center two join the midpoint of opposite side like this so this we have to join from two similarly from one midpoint of opposite side like this then from this one again the midpoint of this side also say from one midpoint of opposite side similarly from two midpoint of opposite side like this so here it is one this is first center this is second it is third and it is fourth means we'll be having one two this is three and it is the fourth center with the help of this four center and the compass we can draw the proper ellipse see so put the center right compass at one then take the distance up to midpoint of opposite side so this is the distance and just check if we mark the arc it must match with this also and i think it is matching correct from this midpoint to this midpoint so this is one arc then shift the center right to and with the same radius again this midpoint and just check up to midpoint of opposite sides this portion so this much portion with one to midpoint two to midpoint the distance is same now this third center now i'll use third center and up to this radius and just we'll check so it must match so little bit shifting in the center it always creates the problem so such adjustment you have to make correct so this portion and with four it is perfectly matching it is the ellipse by four center method and see how perfectly we get with the help of compass now just in this view in side view i'll show uh, very fastly without explaining you can observe it very carefully so here also i'll mark
we'll be having a rhombus by using the compass and uh, lines vertical lines parallel to height and parallel to width because it is in the side view only these lines we have to use we'll be getting such one two this side's third center and it is the fourth center it is the fourth center and with the help of these four centers we'll be drawing the ellipse first use first center midpoint of opposite side just check uh, it's perfectly going through it so it depends on your accuracy then shift the center right to and with the same radius we have to it is also perfect draw this this much portion then now we'll change the radius center 3 and distance up to this midpoint we'll check so center it's not neatly taken it's matching perfectly with this like this and with 4 as the center so here it is matching just we'll check on this side slight adjustment in the centers always we have to make like this we can draw the ellipse we can draw the ellipse by four center method that means circle will be converted ellipse in isometric view if it is in the front view will be using lines parallel to length and height if it is in the top view lines parallel to length and width and if it is in the side view for drawing the rhombus rhombus is must for drawing the ellipse so we'll be using the lines parallel to width and height so if you observe all these things carefully and if you make some practice of drawing the ellipse so the objects in isometric view having cylindrical part you will find very easy and it requires the practice so i feel if you repeat these three circles actually ellipse then you will become perfect in drawing isometric views and i'm very confident if you go through all the lectures series one by one so at the end of the last lecture on isometric view so most of you will be in a position to draw the isometric view of any object thank you